Now for our next series of three different tasks, we're asked to take a look at the different group policies that then configure group policy on the machines where they apply. The first of which is concerned with configuring and managing slow link processing and group policy caching. Now remember, you have a variety of different conditions that your clients can exist in. They can either be on your local area network uh, or they could be out in the rest of the world, perhaps connected through direct access or some other VPN connection. And when those clients are out in other parts of the world, there perhaps are certain types of group policy or perhaps the entirety of group policy itself that it no longer makes sense for you to apply onto those machines. It is the configuration of what is titled slow link processing and slow link detection that allows you to determine exactly the, the amount of latency between you and that client where you consider that client to be on what's called a slow link. Let's come back over here and take a look at our default domain policy where I would go about actually configuring some of these slow link processing um, settings here. And if I pop down here under computer configuration and policies, we want to take a look at administrative templates here, then system, then group policy, where there's a whole list here of all the different ones that have to do with the configuration of group policy itself. One of the very first ones we want to take a look at is the slow link detection itself which you can find right down here, right there. Configure group policy slow link detection. It is here where if we enable this setting, this would give us the ability then to then determine what the connection speed, the, the minimum connection speed needs to be in order for slow link detection to then be enabled. Anytime a machine is determined to be connected via a slow link, there are certain kinds of group policies that just simply won't be applied. These are things like disk quotas and scripts, folder redirection, software installation, also Windows network policies and wireless network policies, as well as Internet Explorer maintenance. So certain types of group policies just simply won't be applied because they have a tendency to require large amounts of network throughput from client to server. And you can, as you can see here, you can determine what that connection speed needs to be by entering in a value here in kilobits per second. There is another group policy setting here related to slow link detection that uh, we also want to take a look at that has to do with whether or not policies are run asynchronously or synchronously. That setting we'll find right down here, titled Change Group Policy Processing to Run Asynchronously When a Slow Network Connection is Detected. Here, by enabling this uh, configuration, anytime a client is determined to be on a slow link, any of those client-side extensions, the extra extensions to group policy that requires synchronous processing, or essentially that computers wait for the network to be fully initialized, uh, those, those types of CSEs will not get applied whenever that machine's under a slow link. There is also another setting here that uh, kind of sort of has to do with slow links, but can also become relevant even inside of a local area network environment. That policy setting is found right up here, or in fact, uh, right down here, uh, specify startup policy processing wait time. This policy setting has the effect of introducing a bit of wait time into the processing of group policy so that you can ensure for any of those synchronous client-side extensions that the, the network has been fully initialized when a machine powers on or connects. Now, obviously, anytime you're configuring any of these policy processing settings that have to do with adding delay, you may introduce the additional effect of increasing the amount of time it takes for a user to log in. So you have to be kind of careful here with any of these configurations, particularly if you're in an environment where the log on time and a very short log on time is mission critical. Now, for those machines where there is a need for a very short log on time, a lot of times you see these in the medical industry where doctors can be logging in and out of machines very quickly. You may be tasked with uh, figuring out how to reduce the log on time to a short a period of time as possible. Well, introduced with Windows Server 2012 R2 are a pair of new group policy settings titled Enable Group Policy Caching and Enable Group Policy Caching for Servers. These can be found in this and this location here. The group policy caching effectively gives you the ability to determine, depending on the conditions, so whether or not this is a slow link coming in or not, whether or not group policy is in fact cached on that machine. This first policy here is for all machines, and then there's a second policy down here for servers as well. Now the point here is to essentially give your users a faster access to their desktop whenever they go through that login process. And in a way, you're trading the most up-to-date view of group policy in exchange for a faster logon, if that's what's important to you. So you'll have to be careful to understand the ramifications of should you implement this. Are you more interested in ensuring group policy gets deployed to machines in a very efficient manner? Or is it more important to shave a few milliseconds off of the logon time for your users?